All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create enemies on the map. That way, instead of having random encounters, you can actually control where the enemies are, and it's just a lot easier sometimes. It gets frustrating having random encounters. But it's also going to show you how to add variables, such as bounty points in my case, that can be used for other, any kind of thing in the game. It's up to you. But an example is other key items I have. You know, Chris's bounty badge, and then I have a log, and then this log has a variable, and the variable is bounty points, which I'll show you after this. But if you can notice, it's zero right now. We're gonna go ahead and get into a Okay. There's a rat there, and if I stand still, it will eventually get to me. I can either interact with it or it'll interact with me. Either way, it starts off. First off, the event itself, the enemy. I have it kind of at a higher speed, frequency, um, and the type of movement is approach, so it's going to approach the character. And I have it as event touch, so it's not player touch. It, it kind of goes either way, but this way, if the event touches you, it'll also trigger, not just if the character touches you, or touches the event. Um, so what I did here is I did a branch. I did battle processing branch. Um, it takes you to the destination of whatever you have in your troops log, which it, that's pretty basic. You should know where a troops log is. That's how you set up your enemies and prepare them for random encounters or whatever you want to do. Um, what I have is escape is checked also, so you can escape the battle. If you win the battle, you get two bounty points, which is a variable. I have variable one set to bounty points, add two. So each rat basically gives you a bounty point. And in that case, there was two rats in the battle. And I also have control switch, enemy map, enemy map one. As you can see, I have several set for the enemy maps. If enemy map one is on, in the second event page, there's nothing there. And that's only if enemy map 1 is checked. So that will trigger that to disappear. Also, one thing I will add later on is an effect to maybe make the enemy like fade away. But for now, this is pretty much just basic. Also, I have a win count variable. I have a character that tells you how many wins you have and he gives you items based on your the variable number of your win count. So every time you get a win, you'll get plus one win. And if you escape, you have enemy map on. So I still have it turn off when you escape. That way it doesn't automatically trigger again. You don't want that. You could have it in a case maybe where you do a different switch, but that would be kind of annoying to where the enemy runs away from you or something. Or you could have it to where it's maybe, you know, not going to attack you for a while or something. But this is just easier. Um, I have the control variable set to 1, so if you escape, I have another variable that is escape, plus 1. Which, this is also something I added in. So if you have escapes, it can mean something. And chicken damage is one variable I have. 
I have an item that you can use in battle that is based on your escape count. The damage is based on how many times you've run away. There's different ways you could do this, but for me I just added 9 to the variable. That way it does 9 damage each time you run away. So 9 plus 9 plus 9, and eventually it adds up. You could spam that all you want, but later in the game you'll end up doing more damage, so it shouldn't catch up that quick later in the game. It might be good early on if you like to run away, but you also lose experience and you don't level up, so it's kind of iffy. Um, so yeah, that's how that's set up. And in order for the enemy to come back, at each entry or exit point or whatever, I have it to where I do all this stuff and I have all these switches turn off again. So since these are all turned off again when you enter a building and exit a building, these will be off again and this will pretty much reset. And that is how you do variables with bounty points, random encounters, all that. So hope this helped. See you next time.